Hey there, Lickin' Riffers! Welcome back to yet another awesome guitar lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I would like to discuss something that I saw online that, honestly, completely infuriated me. Um, it was a video called The Number One Progress Killer um, that supposedly kills guitar players' progress, and nothing nothing infuriates me more than uh, misleading information when it comes to musicians and teaching music, especially when people are trying to peddle their uh, product. Okay, so they plant this misleading uh, misconception in the viewer's mind. So it might be destructive for beginner guitar players to watch such videos. And I, I don't understand how people can allow themselves to call themselves teachers and actually make such videos with misleading information that might frustrate guitar players even more. Beginner guitar players are frustrated enough. So the number one progress killer, in my opinion, is perfectionism. Okay? That's the true progress killer. In my experience, as a player, as a teacher, as a musician, as someone who plays with other people and talks with other musicians about their progress, the number one progress killer in my extensive experience is perfectionism. Nothing else. Perfectionism. Because uh, as musicians, we have this misconception that uh, if we learn something, then we should be able to apply it. And that's not how it works, not with muscle memory and not with uh, musical understanding. Okay? What uh, actually happens okay, in reality is that we learn something and then our brains take time to implement it. And it might take us years to understand what we're learning. Um, I gave this example uh, in a different video, but I would like to give this example again. I have a jazz musician friend who's been playing for, I think, over 20 years now. And I discussed a certain jazz concept with him one day, and I told him it took me forever to understand this concept, and I'm not sure if I completely understand it yet. But me, okay, me, Saf, I... At the time, I only learned that concept about a month or two uh, prior to our conversation. And he, he started laughing and, and he told me, are you kidding me? I learned this concept a decade before I could actually play it. Uh, he went to a musical academy and they taught him that concept, that jazz music concept. And he could only apply it successfully a decade later after he was, after he became an experienced musician. Now, the same goes for technique. No shortcut, no hack, no roadmap, no nothing. No shape, no easy shape or, um, or, um, or a trick can, can instantly make you a better player. There's no such thing, okay? Your brain needs to form myelin over the uh, neurons uh, and, the, and the connections, the nerve connections, something like that. And, it, and that takes time. That takes a long time. And the more myelin is uh, built and constructed around the nerve endings, the better your muscle memory becomes. Okay? That takes time. That takes time. That's why I always say, practice it, practice it, let go of it, play something else. Then come back to it and you'll discover that you're playing it far better than you used to. Sometimes you let something go and play it a year later and suddenly you're much better. Now, this is very important, okay? If you only take away one thing from this video, okay? Take this. You don't need to play stuff perfectly when you learn it, okay? Because you learn a difficult piece you memorize it, okay? Let it go. 
Okay? Learn something new. You're gonna become a better player anyway as you progress. Okay? It's like walking up a staircase. Okay? Each step at a time. And as you become a better player, those pieces, those musical compositions that you tried to learn years ago suddenly become much, much easier to play. And when you come back to them, it's a lot easier to fix your mistakes, if you make any at all. Because when I just uh, started learning uh, The Clap, okay, by Steve Howe, I could play it from start to finish, but I couldn't play it perfectly. Far, far from it. It took me years to play it perfectly, but I still enjoyed playing it. I wasn't looking for perfection. I just wanted to understand the piece. I just wanted to be able to play it myself, even if I played it imperfectly, even if I couldn't play, uh, if I could, even if I couldn't play it cohesively from start to finish. Let me uh, give you another takeaway. Okay? Are you listening? Playing something from start to finish is the single most difficult task a musician has. Playing a complete musical piece, musical composition, perfectly from start to finish. Okay? I'm not talking about a song. I'm not talking about a solo. I'm talking about a complete musical composition. Even a long solo. Okay? Even the Hotel California solo, let's say. Any finger style arrangement, any, any musical piece, any classical piece that you want to learn, anything. Okay? The most difficult task a musician has is playing something perfectly from start to finish. It's, it never changes. No matter how good you are, no matter how uh, technically uh, impressive you are, no matter how much musical theoretical knowledge you have, all of that doesn't matter when you come to play a piece. Okay? When you come in front of an audience, when you walk up on stage and you, and you want to play a piece from start to finish, that's the single most difficult task there is for anyone, okay? not just for you. So th throw perfectionism out the window. Okay? You're playing for fun, you're playing to enjoy, you're playing to create music, you're playing to express yourself, you're playing to have an emotional experience, an artistic experience, okay? Music is an individual experience, okay? Anyone who listens to someone play, okay, if you play in front of an audience, you experience one thing and each member of the audience experiences a different thing altogether, okay? Music is up for interpretation, emotional interpretation. So throw perfectionism out the window. It can only do harm. Okay? You will be able to play better one day. Just enjoy. Just enjoy the music. Okay? That's the real number one progress killer. <laughs> In case you're one of those people who want to bring Rage Against the Machine back, you found the right place. I'm Asaf Levavi, interrupting this program. Don't get me confused with Asaf Levavi from Lick and Riff, because I'm Asaf Levavi from Lick and Riff Electric. Yeah, the new channel here on YouTube designed to teach you electric guitar. And celebrating the opening of the new channel, I am teaching you electric guitar every week live on the Graphy platform. Every Sunday, you can join me live to learn the not-so-subtle art of the electric guitar! Thanks for watching.